back to our channel so students in this video we will discuss the advanced accounting unit number 3 so uh, as i have already said from starting onwards unit number 3 will be hard in our channel i was not going to upload any problematic explanation so my suggestion to my subscribers and my students is to go with the theory for 12 marks okay so one question we can expect for 12 marks theory and one question we can expect a problematic okay so what you need to learn for the theory okay so in part b there are different types of questions so in this video i will explain how you need to uh, read and remember the answers how you need to present your answers in your booklet everything we will discuss okay the first important question is now define a company what are the features of a company okay what is a company company is a individual person or a, it is a created by law means it is the thing it is an artificial person which is created by law right means according to the companies act 1956 this definition compulsory you need to remember a company means a company formed or registered under act which legally registered under act is called company then what are the characteristic features we are having the first one is separate legal entity separate legal entity is nothing but the money or whatever the things is there related to the company or any type of organizations it is a legally separated means it will have certain rules and reg regulations which should be performed according to that okay that is called separate legal entity the second point is limited liability liability is nothing but the future repayment of our loans and uh, uh, things okay so the limited liability if you are uh, having the company means you will have the limited capacity of your future payment okay next one perpetual suggestion perpetual suggestion is nothing but a per company does not die why because it is not a human being it is not a thing it is an artificial person if you die also the company still exists right that is called perpetual suggestion next one common seal you are having common seal is nothing but whatever the thing you are having in your company it will means like official signature of a company like official brand name you will have no that is called common seal next one transferability of shares means in a company you can transfer your shares to the another partner freely okay means without any restrictions without any rules to follow you can share so you can transfer your shares to the another person sixth one is separate property a company will have its own name own brand own techniques own rules and regulations everything it will be a separate property okay so try to write this um, remember this uh, side points and it will be enough okay second important question is uh, what is shares what are the different types of shares okay this question what is shares a share is nothing but a share capital of a company means in a company we we are trying to do the we are trying to take the shares means a part only some part of the capital whatever we need to produce for example a company is there some company is there the share capital of that company is 10 lakhs means you can buy those shares according to your preference either you may buy it for the 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh according to your uh, shares you will get the profit and loss sharing ratios also what are the different types of shares we are having equity shares and preferences then what is mean by equity shares means equity shareholders are the owners of a company okay the equity shareholders why we will call equity shareholders means they are the owners of the company means like board of directors uh, like a uh, managing director like this type of people are uh, in a equity share then what is a uh, preference shares preference shares is nothing but it is applicable to a time of a payment of a capital means a certain period of time like temporary ownership we can call it no so like that is type of things is called as a preference shares okay next important question ma uh, differences between uh, 
debentures and shares this you need to compulsory see this is the thing whatever the eight points you are having here no so this eight point as it is you need to remember okay so from unit number three we may expect the uh, question from differences between okay so and the last question is kinds of debentures kinds of is debentures is nothing but types of debentures then what is a debenture a company can obtain a long term issue of debentures right so that is the thing we call it as a debenture means a debenture is nothing but a document okay so it what it will do means it provides the payment and interest whatever you are having on that basically that it will be charged on that company's property okay so this is called the debentures what are the different types of debentures you are having unsecured debentures unsecured debentures is nothing but the debentures which is not having security secured debentures is nothing but which is having the security okay why we are not having unsecured or secured means when you are share when you are uh, selling your shares to the another partner compulsory some companies will restrict that unsecured some companies will restrict as a secure debentures okay next redeemable irredeemable guaranteed debentures this type of things you will have so my suggestion to you all is from unit number 3 prepare the differences between shares and debentures this is the 99% this will only will repeat for the long okay so this pdf already i have uploaded in our uh, channel just try to check out that okay so if you are perfect with part b part a will be also easily you can understandable okay see you all next video all the very best for your examination and result preparation if you are having any doubts let me know in the comment section all the very best and thank you so much